This work is by Austrian artist Franz West. It is located in Central Park at the Doris C. Friedman Plaza by 60th Street and 5th Avenue. The name of this work is The Eagle and the Id and it was created in 2008. The work consists of two similar yet distinct, brightly colored, looping abstract forms. They soar at a height of 20 feet. This makes it possible for passers-by at a distance to at least turn their heads and glance at it. The spectator is invited to interact with the work not only by looking at it, but also by sitting on the stools that curve up from the bottom of each of the ends of this aluminum group sculpture. This functional quality is very important in the work of this artist. The name of this work borrows directly from the title of a paper published in 1923 by Sigmund Freud, the founder of psychoanalysis. In Freudian psychology, the ego and the id are two of the parts that form the human psychic apparatus. The other element is the superego. The id is a primordial instinct. It is like the brain of a very young child. It understands no restraint or self-control. The ego, in consequence, says to satisfy the id in a realistic manner. The superego, from what we can gather by looking at this illustration, is a sort of moral regulator. But there is no representation of the superego in this work. Here we have an artist's rendering of the ego and the id interacting with a bustling metropolitan environment. This interaction is also what Freud aimed at understanding in his paper. In this work, there is no established understanding as to which is the ego or which is the id. This helps us remember something very important. That is, although two separate units, this work is to be understood as a whole. Thank you for listening. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.